everyone. I'm glad to be here with you guys uh, today. We have Nettie back with us, and so I'm really excited about seeing her. Starting to see some results, which I always love. Nettie, how are you today? I'm good. Awesome. So talk to me a little bit about your skin. How's it doing? Are you liking what you're seeing? Yes, it's really gotten clear. Super. Mm -hmm. So this is actually her third treatment. So we were just the beginning part of it. So let's see how everything is going so far. And I'm gonna open this in just a second. And you can see there's a little bit of an ingrown hair right there which as it grows it stimulates the pore and it creates buildup of bacteria and uh, dead skin cells I'm going to go back and open this up. We've talked about this area always kind of accumulating oil, the oils and the dirt. And so as it sits in that pore, it oxidizes and of course she gets the little blackheads. And so right now she's going through what we call sloughing stage. We got her on the glycolic wash and she just has buildup of dead skin cells. We're gonna record her, I'm looking at next week to do like dermaplaning on her. I think she will be ready by then. And that'll help remove a lot of those cells too. So I just worked on the area here, which is called the glabella. I am gonna start working on the nose. From the nose, I'm going to go ahead and go on her chin because she's very congested. And uh, so let's go ahead and, I don't know if you remember the last video, I wanted to open this up. Let's see if it's ready for her. for extractions, so let's see. I'm glad we waited because now it's ready to to come out. All right, so I'll go the other direction, make sure it's it's clean and you could tell there's still some some build up in there. I 
Nadia, you're holding up okay, sweetie? Yes, I'm okay. You can breathe. <laughs> you can see the sack is coming out, so that's a good thing. Go ahead and open this one up. a little stammer so I'm going to use the 20% acid wash to see to help it move up to the surface and see how that works I bevel up, 35 degree angle. Same with this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and create like a flat surface using that, um, bridge of the nose and I'm going to try to get it to come up to the surface if it doesn't I'll leave it again I don't want to create so much pressure that she'll get a PIH we don't want that Sweetie, how are you holding up? I'm good. You're good. Skin still looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and try a little more. Okay, 
I'm going to leave it because there is always next time. I'm going to go double check this here. It's clear fluid, which means it's um, it's clean. Remember, this is filament through here. And filament is just oils that accumulate. They're not microcomedones. They're just oils and debris that just settles there, no bacteria per se. degree angle and can you breathe Okay, you can see that she's got some blackheads in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the ones that are ready out. And could you do me a huge favor, Nettie? Could you put on um, upper lip down for me? Perfect. So when doing extractions, do you wanna go ahead and have your client slash patient do that because it creates a flat surface for you and it's easier to extract. This area, Nettie, I know I'm going to ask you, are you doing okay? But I know it's a little bit uncomfortable, okay? So thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Again, up and look down for me. Thank you. And here we go, it's out. that are filled as just oils and like I said just little filaments um, and so once she keeps using her wash it'll just all smooth out and you'll see okay. upper lip down again for me now this one may see how we're doing with this one. Okay. Some little um, 
blackhead and you usually get them on the vermilion line of the lip area do you use lip balm lip gloss okay and usually you get that especially teens will get that around their lips because of that because it tends to clog the pores um a lot of those lip glosses do uh, they are communogenic because they it includes the skin and it doesn't allow any airflow So we're just going to leave it at that and then we're going to start working on the chin area. stretch this area so I can get all those little blackheads out. Stretch it down. Really, thank you so much for hanging in there with me, okay? this um, corner here. And you could feel, do you feel my fingers much smoother? I 
gonna go on the other side. So you're going to hear our, law, our lawn people on the video. I'm sorry. Hopefully they won't be on there too long. is going <laughs> These have been here for a little while. Nettie, do you need a little break? Yes, please. Okay, I will give you a little break. We're going to give her a little break and we'll come back. Okay, we gave our sweet Nettie a break. So... I just iced it down for her. She's been congested for a long time and so they're, even though they're coming out pretty easily, still she's not used to it. This area has a lot of nerve endings and so I can relate Nettie, okay?
think our lawn guy has moved on. <laughs> so, okay, so I am going to keep extracting through this area so that you can kind of see the difference. Now, these are microcomedones. They're very tiny. I don't worry about those so much. And, um, and then, of course, also there's filament here. Just because people don't get that close to, to you in order for them to be noticed. And you have to really stretch the skin. And the wash will work itself will work in there and it'll you know work itself out so i'm not gonna worry about that right now the ones i'm really concerned are the ones that are so enlarged that will uh create an, a larger pore so i want to avoid that It looks like you had a little bit of a cluster here. Did you at one time? Do you remember it being like pustules there? Mm, no. No? Okay. So she's got a little bit of a cluster there. So I'm going to work that out because it's causing a little bit of enlarged pores. And I want to avoid that. And you could see it through there. And she's got a little bit of a PIH there too. And we'll work with that. PIH, a PIH, sorry, stands for post inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Can be caused by too much pressure on the skin. Um, and mostly, of course, we know that whenever you have a any type of acne lesion that's coming up to the surface, it puts pressure and it can create the, the brown spots. So. That's basically what she has. What I'm so excited about is the fact that we're able, she's homeschooled and her mom is gracious enough to bring her here to us. And so I'll be recording her pretty much every week. So you'll get an update on her very often and I can finish her pretty fast that well you know it's gonna seem like long because we're doing it weekly and I'm doing sections at a time but yeah okay so you could see the difference already I'm gonna grab this area through here I am gonna stretch This area, we talked about the um, lip glosses can kind of accumulate the oils there and create some clogging in there. And I will work on that a little bit later because it's, it's a little tricky to get that cleaned up. And see how it's kind of dark? You don't want to make that darker. So we'll, I'll show you how to take care of that later um, on in our next video. Okay, see that here.
I'm gonna open this. work on this little area here. Nettie, we're almost there, sweetie, okay? You're such a trooper. So this side seems to be a little bit sensitive for her. I'm gonna try my very best to get at least this area through here. But I don't want to overdo it. Okay, so I am going to... Nettie, how are you doing? I want to make sure. I'm okay. Oh, that didn't convince me. I think we're going to call it quits. How's that sound? Does that sound good? Yeah, I thought so. Okay. So i like to say thanks, everyone, for allowing Nettie to, you know, be a part of you guys' life, too, because you're she's just telling her story about going through acne and teenagers will, you know, they all go through acne, um, some more than others, but they experience some type of acne. So thank you for watching our video. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being um, supportive uh, also with Nettie by encouraging her to hang in there. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. So as you can see, it looks so much better. Um, it was pretty clogged. We have, um, we have a before, we'll, we'll post a before and after picture. So basically I did the chin, the nose, and then the glabella area. And um, we're acclimating her. So as she comes in more often, it'll be easier and easier for her and it, she won't even feel it. But for now, she probably is not believing me, are you? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much. I love you from the depths of my heart. But just know, and I always say this, that Jesus loves you even more. So just know that um, you're a blessing to my life. And I pray every day that God will continue to bless you in every area of your life and prosper you and meet all your needs according to his purpose and plan for your life. God bless you. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.